breaking news, Dreamworld's parent company Ardent Leisure has released a statement informing the ASX of these charges. Let me read some of that to you now. So it says Ardent Leisure Group Limited acknowledges that the Queensland Work Health and Safety Prosecutor has today filed in the Brisbane Magistrates Court three charges against Ardent subsidiary company Ardent Leisure Limited arising from the 2016 Thunder River Rapids ride tragedy. All three charges are Category 2 charges pursuant to Section 32 of Workplace Health and Safety Act and each charge carries a maximum penalty of $1.5 million. Now, Tom, we are standing by for an official statement from the independent prosecutor appointed by the Office of Workplace Health and Safety after the coronial inquest into this disaster. We understand that all the family members of these victims will need to be informed before that is released. Kate Goodchild, Luke Dorset, Ruzi Aragi and Cindy Lowe, they all lost their lives back in 2016 when a water pump malfunctioned while they were on this ride. A six-week coronial inquest into this disaster wrapped up in December of 2018 and the findings were handed down in February of this year. Now, Queensland Coroner James McDougall, he was completely scathing in his assessment, accusing Dreamworld of a systematic failure in all aspects of safety. As expected, Dreamworld copped a massive financial hit from this. And to top that off, COVID-19 forced the closure of the park in March. Dreamworld is yet to set a date for its reopening.